feel like I already know the answer to this, but do you see folks reading your paper just around town on a regular basis? Well, it's not big enough to carry around and occupy too much of your time. But uh, no, people will read the paper, sure. Not the greatest newspaper in the world. I hear that and I roll my eyes and I go, no, no. I've, uh, I may not own a different newspaper, but I've seen newspapers. I've read other newspapers. It's, uh, it's uh, become, a, well, it's been for a long time, uh, become a historically unique. I mean, this is gone. This is the last of, and it's way gone, you know. Anybody who's ever participated in it, the people thought of it in a different way. They were building a newspaper. They built it from lead and, and paper and ink, and by golly, we did something. It is an interesting, it, it, it's, it really wasn't meant to be, or there would be more newspapers that are letterpress, because there were lots of newspapers that were letterpress. They very often just ran out of steam. The, the linotypes, they just got so that they, um, they were just too hard to run and uh, they were too slow and the people were too old and they didn't even try to get their children involved. They didn't pass them on. They just said, yeah, you know, go get an education and go do something else. Well, we're getting lots of papers. Like I say, it's just kissing it. I don't worry about it, oh my God, am I going to put out the newspaper 500, you know, what's going to happen 50 years from now? You know, everybody else goes, what's going to happen 50 years? And I'm going like, well, I'd probably run the newspaper forever, you know, it's right now it's forever. Uh, so I don't have to worry about that.